Hey gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little preview of the newest Rogue Company character, Dahlia. Now I do apologize that this video is a few days late because um, I had some other content I just needed to go ahead and hurry up and get out there. But uh, I know it's been a bit since I've made a Rogue Company video as well. And that's just because I kind of slowed down on the game because um, the Switch version was having a lot of crashes. And I primarily play Rogue Company on Switch. Um, next gen, I'll probably go ahead and start playing it again on Xbox eventually, but for right now, I like playing it on the Nintendo Switch. And now they got the crashes cleared up a bit, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start making more videos on it so you guys will see my, um, my Rogue to a 40 Bomb series continue and stuff like that. So the Rogue Company videos didn't go anywhere, it's just, it was kind of hard to make content with the crashes going on, uh, back to back. Now, um... Let's go ahead and talk about Dahlia, and uh, you know we'll get into it, to things about her, look at her loadout and stuff like that. What is Dahlia? Dahlia is basically a support character. Um, she is similar to Saint. She revives other other heroes, and she has some really cool abilities, weapons, and um, even perks that go along with her kit that I want to talk about. So first and foremost, her weapon. This is the newest SMG in the game called the Objection. And this thing is an absolute monster. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, don't be surprised if they nerf it eventually. We're going to go into the training area and I'm going to show you why. But uh, tier 1, they reduce the recoil. Tier 2, they increase the reload speed. And tier 3, it gets increased range and suppressive fire, meaning it's silenced. So keep that in mind. It gets a range boost and a silencer. Not decreased range in a silencer, increased range in a silencer. We're going to talk about that later. She also has the MXR. If you're not familiar with this weapon, it is Trench's gun. It's, um, if you've used this gun before, you know the, um, the, the bump ups already. Increased magazine size, increased damage range, and suppresses firing and increases recoil. Me personally, whenever I'm using the MXR, I personally stop around tier two. That's pretty much when the gun gets, you know, pretty, um, pretty nasty. Uh, if, you, if you've used single shot weapons, you're probably pretty good at controlling recoil. So that's why I would say um, I usually stop around tier 2. But that's just me. Um, the Executioner, you guys have seen this. This is on um, Rogue Company Desert Desert Eagle. Um, if you've probably seen this handgun a million times, it's a special there. Katana, Smoke Grenade, which is, you know, always great, especially for objective gameplay. Grenade and her perks. Um, deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammunition. Very great for a support character. Good for taking care of those anvil. Things become immune to being revealed by enemies. That's awesome. Good for countering um, Talon and Dallas. Take reduced damage from, from explosives. Those Ronins and um, and Demas. Remove aim down sights. Movement speeds penalty. You definitely, that's something you always want to keep in your kit. Um, Lifeline, this lets you revive teammates significantly faster. Make sure if you're playing her, that's one of the first things you buy. It's ten grand. I know it's pretty pricey, but it is. One of the first things you get, and downing an enemy, replenish. Especially if you're going with an objection build, you're going to want to have replenish on. I will say that is this gun's one downside. And like I said, when we get into shooting range, we're going to go ahead and talk more about that gun. But um, let me go ahead and tell you guys. Um, also, her price for um, for reputation, she's twenty grand. So uh, if you know, just so you guys know how much she costs, I'll I'll put a little stamp in the video so you guys will um, have seen that information. <laughs> earlier sorry you had to wait this long to even to, um to hear that but i did have the uh i do have the tier two founders pack so unfortunately um i got her for free i didn't get i wasn't able to see how much she cost right away but um let's go ahead and go into the go into the shooting range so i can show you guys what she's all about i um, won't do anything to enhance it so you just get honest results here is hip fire me not me not moving the controller at all as y'all can see i'll let you see here i'm firing one-handed and that's without any without any perks purchased we'll go ahead and upgrade it upgrade it once again reduced recoil once again Even less recoil. I know I'm going for headshots, so let's lower ourselves just a little bit so we get more towards the body. 
one hand. Going lower towards the body probably increase our accuracy more to do more damage, but you guys get the picture. Increase reload speed, you all know what that does. And increases damage range and suppresses firing. As you guys can see, one-handed. This is the reason I believe her SMG is going to get nerfed eventually, because this thing is just a laser. Now, the counter side to this, it runs out of ammo quick as hell. It's a very still weapon. As you guys can see, when I'm aiming down sights, I don't have much to control at all. Like, even with a long-range headshot here. That was not difficult to control at all. And mind you, the Dallas is all the way back there. Here. We'll even, we'll, we'll even take a look and try it up here from a long range. I'll crouch just to... Oops. <laughs> I rolled off use of some different controls. Sorry about that. I will crouch up here and fire towards Dallas's head. And this is with an SMG. It's not even that hard to control from up here. Now, obviously, I didn't get the kill, but you guys are getting where I'm going, going with this gun. If they nerf this thing, don't be surprised. So if you know, if you buy this character now because you like the damage of that weapon, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying, High Res is a company that's known for crazy balance changes. Sometimes people will release broken weapons and shooters. It happens, but don't be shocked if this gun gets nerfed. <clears throat> Now, let's go ahead and do a match so I can go ahead and show you guys uh, her ability. I guess, but what we'll do real quick is I'll let you guys see the MXR just in case you've, um, you've never used Trench's weapon. It's pretty much, the cool thing about the MXR is um, I'm pretty sure this thing's a, a, uh, a two or three tap headshot from any range. Let me double check that. Fire at this anvil right here. Okay, that was um, four shots. Let me make sure I got them all head. Yeah, four shots. It's a it's a really powerful weapon, good for countering those phantoms, the um the saints and stuff like that. And if you pair this character with saint, it is a really cool thing. Now let's go ahead and um get ourselves into a match. Run some Dahlia. All right. So as you guys can see with this match, it looks like um. <laughs> We are only going to be having three people, so um, a, a good support is going to be more than ever necessary in here. But regardless whether we win or lose, the point of this of this gameplay is just you know to show you guys the um, the ability. So I wouldn't focus too much on the um, gameplay because I'm going to be more focused on uh, on showing you guys the character more than anything. So if I screw up in this in this match, forgive forgive me. I just you know don't don't worry too much about that. All right, so we have an Anvil, a Dima, a Ronin, and a Phantom. As you guys can see, Dahlia is equipped with items and stuff literally to counter every character on that team. All right, so let's see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and start off with the SMG build. If the Phantom becomes too much of a problem, I'll go ahead and switch to the MXR. I'm going to go ahead and start with the with the objection and we're going to go ahead and go cloaked now her ability you simply link yourself to a character and the cool thing is right you get to borrow that character's passive so i'm going to start with anvil now because i'm linked to anvil i got immunity to emp disorient slow and blind effects for all of this match now there's nobody really on that team who can do too much of that to me right now so my better choice may have been the ronin because i believe she had she gets to stay off the radar, but at the same time, I have cloaked, so I don't really need that. So the extra, the extra perk for this round is just more so an added bonus. And you guys are going to notice that in the bottom left corner, I have Anvil's health bar right there with me. That's so I can easily track whenever he goes down, and I can just get him right back up. Now, I was down there, but the SMG, like I said, you guys saw I shot Dima in his lower body. And mind you, leg and hip area. And I was still able to take him down on par with his AR. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Alright, and as y'all can see, there's my ability going right there to get the anvil up. Hopefully I just live through this a little bit so he gets revived. And he did. <laughs> and 
And like I said, her link to whatever character will last the whole round. So think about characters' passives that you would want to use. There's all kinds of crazy combinations that you'll be able to do here with Dahlia. Like, for example, say if you go ahead and link yourself to a, um, to a check. Whenever you're down, you'll be able to roll around. Meaning you could have a two, two check style characters on your team to annoy the other team and make sure that you know that they're confirming their kills instead of one. And that can come in handy because if a team, if a character has to make sure that he has to confirm their kills, then that's going to leave them exposed a little bit more while they're, while they're shooting to make sure that they down you. Alright, let's see. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. She's just hanging there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Goodbye, Phantom. Alright, let's get this point back. We are beating them 8 to 1. Cool thing is, my buddy Anvil here is not dying a lot. Okay, but yeah, like as you guys can see, I haven't died too much this round, but I did run out of ammo pretty quickly. Now, I was doing a lot more spraying than tap firing. That is one thing you can do to preserve ammo pretty easily, is tap fire, but... Alright, and we got Anvil back up. I'm glad I've been able to show you guys the ability here in this game. That's a big plus. We are definitely going to get ourselves some grenades next round to deal with those little cheesy peaks that Phantom's going to pull. Ooh, Ronin, one more shot, sweetheart. I would have took your head off. Hello there. I feel so bad for this group. I think these guys are new. Because <laughs> that Dima definitely should have killed me easily. Those were such slow aim paced shots. Come on. There we go. Alright, the Phantom seems to have a good, have a good shot on her. Kill her. Kill her! <laughs> Alright, now we're going to use the next, the next round to go ahead and focus a bit more more on gameplay guys gameplay wise just so you guys can see our user we'll go ahead and stick with the Ronin this time now I get to avoid detection on enemy radar but I already have that perk pretty much with cloaked so I don't gotta worry about that too much go ahead and get this bump our SMG up one I would go ahead and flank, but these guys don't seem, they do seem like they're a little bit new to the game. It did just go free to play after all, so having Christmas noob like lobbies is pretty normal. And as you guys can see, I just literally predicted where the Ronin was going to be through that smoke. And held a pretty steady shot there and downed her. <laughs> like, I, I really hope some of the SMG kills I'm getting and what I showed you guys in the training room is really showing the power of this SMG. Oops. Had some potato aim there. Yeah, potato aim in the beginning. I still won the gunfight. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Is she going to peek? Are you gonna peek? Peek for me, baby. Peek for me, baby. Hey, peek for me, baby. Come on, Phantom, get your cute ass out here. There you go, pretty girl. God, got them both. Okay. And though you got me, buddy, because they're probably resin them. All right. I want to push so bad, but I have a feeling they're all up and just waiting for me. Hey, Dima. Alright. Now, are they going to prioritize their demo or are they going to... Okay. Good. They killed us. Smart smart thing on their behalf. 
killed us first because we're giving them a pretty tough time here. So any 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 advantage they get for eliminations, they should be taken care of. Let's get our Ronin up. Get up, sweetheart. Y'all see how quick that was? That perk makes a massive difference. All right. Ronan's going to think twice because she knows what this SMG can do. Anvil doesn't seem to quite get it yet. We're going to go ahead and get Ronan up real quick. Looks like I got that fast reviving. Oof. Oh, they may, okay. All right. See, they're making sure to down me. I think the I think the enemy team is starting to catch on to what to what this character can actually do. And I don't mean that in saying she's broken, but I'm just saying that I think they're starting to understand the abilities. So I don't think they're going to be as lenient on me as they have. So round three should be very interesting. Let's go ahead and get Ronan back up. Alright, so I think they want us to push, which I'm not going to do. Oh yeah, they're waiting for us to push. Alright, Anvil doesn't realize that I'm going to peek and take his head off. Yeah, Anvil, do that again. Anvil and Ronan are both exposed now. Oh, one little tip I want to give you guys too. Anytime you see a barricade up, use your secondary to get rid of it. Remember, your secondary has unlimited ammo. Yes, you'll take it down slower, but you have unlimited ammo. Let's go ahead and sync ourselves to the Anvil for the last, the last match. We're going to go ahead and fully upgrade the SMG, really punish these guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and give them, let's see here, once... We'll do a smoke and attack just to make things interesting. I probably should have threw on a few more perks. I definitely should have did shredder rounds to make things more interesting. Replenish probably would have helped too for some of those gunfights. But you know what? Screw it. We'll just go ahead and we'll see We'll see where this build takes us. Because we have a really interesting um, more close quarters point this match. This time anyway. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go ahead and toss our frag, hoping that they come through there. And damn, okay, I did not get it far enough. All right, Phantom's already peeking. As you guys can see, I'm now doing 9 damage per shot instead of 7, so I've definitely got that range increase running there. Um, Phantom's down. I really hope that they do fix that glitch where you automatically pop out with an SMG. <laughs> Let's go ahead and smoke this point so they think twice about going there. Force them to come over here. See if that works. See if anybody's going to cross this line. No one's crossing over here. Let's see if there's any of them hanging out in spawn. Just to tease them a little bit. Using the silence SMG so I'm not too worried about noise. Yeah, he's not quite smart. I think the only person looking back was the Ronin or the Dima. The Dima thinks I went the other way for God knows whatever reason. Good night, Dima. All right, and Dima just ragdolled himself to all hell. We're gonna go ahead and go to the other side because they're gonna be pissed at me for messing with them right there. I do hope they follow me in here. So it'll make for some really, really interesting play. Oh, they took you down pretty quick. All right, let's get these two out of the way, clean them up. Phantom's going to try it. Unfortunately, Phantom's going to die because she doesn't think. Good night, Phantom. I'll leave you there just so you can think about your actions. And let's make sure no one else is going to push. I'm low on ammo, so I'm forced to use a pistol until I go down. All right, that pistol did not, re did not reload right there, which is very weird. See if anyone spawns around here so we can punish them. And somebody just ran into Ronin's truck. Oh my god, okay, explosives O Rama. Enemies are out of 
Look at that, Ronan's talking that stuff. All right. They are really content on pushing this little spot. So now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and flank them with this handgun. Just for, for the sake of fun. I might not live through this encounter, but let's see what happens. Okay. All right, and good night to them. But anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Um, I hope you all can see that uh, <clears throat> that Dahlia is a very solid character. I don't know if this match proved that for you guys or not. Um, do keep in mind, I know it was shown off a bit doing some fun things in that match. But you, but you guys get, get the point. I just wanted to show you exactly how efficient she is as a support character. And it's not even just about, you know, being a, being a solid, you know, like, kill kill grabbing character or anything like that she's really good at supporting her team as you guys can see five revives there easy i think only one of them i actually picked the person up manually so uh but dahlia is a solid character i would honestly recommend her for the um twenty thousand reputation or if you know you buy rogue bucks honestly just grind the game that's my honest opinion save your rogue bucks for cosmetics and goodies but um yeah guys if you you know if you want to know if she's worth it Yes, that's that's my opinion. I honestly really enjoy the character character a lot. I personally would take Dahlia over Saint any day. I'm just not crazy about um about Saint's weapons. I do wish his um his M4 style weapon was a regular, you know, third person aim rather than first person, but that's just, you know, me. If you want a good alternative outside of Saint, Dahlia is definitely the right choice. But anyway, guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.